What is up, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. Now, this particular video, I am going to show you how to use the Arena Merge and your Magic Spot in conjunction with each other to go ahead and take any street car that you want and put Yankton Plates or Green Tint or Secret Gold Interior and merge them onto a street car. So if you come across that street car with that nice paint job that you want to keep, like the Sentinel over here, for example, that spawns up by Eclipse Towers. This does have a modded um, primary color and modded wheel color. So the secondary is just a regular black, but I thought it would be fun to kind of upgrade this car and put some bennies on it. And we can transfer it over to our magic spot here. So I've got the Piss Washer. Uh, Dominator is my magic spot. So we're going to do the arena merge that is available right now. Um, so if you haven't watched the video on that, go back and watch that. I am going to go through it here pretty quick. Um, this video is going to run a little bit long as it is. And then from there, once you have it on your magic spot, we're going to merge it with one of these other vehicles um, with the Yankton plate and green tint so that it transfers over onto our magic spot. All right, so we're going to use the arena merge and our magic spot to do this. So we're going to go ahead and pull our magic spot into the arena. So again, um, using this glitch, you do obviously have to have a friend to help you. So my friend is already glitched out. Okay, I'm not going to show you that. You can go back and watch the other video. So we're going to go ahead and get this car glitched out. So we're going to have a friend come in, and then I'm going to get out. And he's going to drive it over to one of the sides, over by the pot machines or over by the office there, so that it's out of the way. Okay, so he's just going to go up over here. Now once it's over here, I need to go ahead and have it so that it sticks in the arena. So I'm just going to... Merge it with the RC car quick here, so just right on the D-pad and then back out. And then we're going to go over to the actual magic spot, and we'll just merge it with the RC car so that it stays here. Okay, so now once it's stayed here, we can go ahead and actually bring it in. So I'm using the um, you know unattainable jobs, or whatever you want to call them, so just square X and then spam left on the D-pad so that it will glitch out the car. If your friend wants to do a quick job, you can also do it that method, whichever way works easier for you. It doesn't matter, okay? So I'm not going to go into this into major detail because I have, like I said, covered the actual glitch itself in a separate video. So from here, all we want to do is get out of the car and now we want to get into the donor car, okay? So we want to take this paint and these wheels off here. So this is just a street car that I brought in, so no Yankton's, nothing on it. We're going to hit right on the D-pad to take it into the mod shop. Now we're ready to merge this car with our magic spot, okay? So we'll just get out of this car, exit vehicle, now get back into our magic spot, which is still up over here in the corner. And we're just going to go ahead and glitch it out again. So we're going to hit our options, go up to the job, hit square X and spam left on the D-pad. When we come back down from the clouds, it's now going to be merged with the paint from the Sentinel that I brought in off the street, okay? So we're halfway there. We're uh, going to come on down, and then what we want to do from here is going to merge it with our uh, Yankton spot, okay? So it's kind of hard to see, obviously, through the um, actual livery, but you can see the wheels are the red, so it has successfully merged. Now, we do want to make sure we hit right on the D-pad to modify it so that the save does actually take place. So I'm just going to change the armor on it here quickly and then go ahead and exit the workshop which will just put it up over here on the corner again and still stay glitched out. So once, once we have that done, it is officially saved. So now we can go over and get into the car that has the Yankton plate and green tint and whatever, um, you know, if you have a interior, stuff like that, you can go ahead and merge those over. So I'll just use this click here. This click's got the Yankton plate, it's got the green tint on it. So that is gonna be our merge car. So now we're gonna pull this one in, okay? So once we have this one in, we can go ahead and get this car glitched out. So we're going to have to get our friend to come back in and help us. So from here, we just want to go ahead and exit the vehicle and then get back in and have our friend get in with us so that they can glitch out this car. So we can glitch this car out. Okay. So once he gets in, come on. I'm doing this with uh, two controllers, one TV back and forth. So I'm trying to kind of control my guy by looking at the other camera. So it gets a little confusing. So we're going to go ahead and now drive that car up over to the opposite side, all right? You want to make sure you do them on the opposite side so that one doesn't despawn. They have to have a certain distance away from each other. So I find if you put one on one side, one on the other side, it works the best. So once you have that done, we're going to go ahead now and uh, get back into uh, the Magic Spot car, okay? So we're going to get back over to the Piss Washer Dominator. 
Come on. No, no, other way. No, other way. Uh, no. Okay, wait, no, sorry. I want to merge with the Abyss Walker Dominator. So <laughs> we're just going to get into this car, get out, and then, so that kind of just registers it. And now we're going to get into the Abyss Walker Dominator and actually glitch this car out. My bad. Okay. So once we're in this car now, go ahead, glitch it out just like before. Hit square, X, spam left on the D-pad, or join your friend on the quick job, whichever way you prefer. And when we come back down, it is going to take the paint and everything from that donor car. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to disconnect before it saves, okay? So that's how it'll merge over. So if we hit right on the D-pad now, we're going to take this car in. So as you can see, it threw the spindles on there, and obviously yanked in plate and stuff like that will copy over. But, you know, as you know with Magic Spots, paint doesn't copy over, neither does the Bennies if it's a non-Bennies wheel vehicle already. All right, so the only things that actually transfer over is the yanked in plates, the green tint, headlights, and interior. Okay, so all we want to do is I was kind of debating what I was going to do there. Just hit around the D-pad to modify it because we want to make sure we actually change one thing on it before we disconnect so that we can have it save. Now, a little trick. If you're using a Dominator like me or any other car that you can upgrade to an Arena War car, if you upgrade it to the Arena War car and then disconnect your internet, it will also give you the secret gold interior. So that's what I'm doing here. So Future Shock Dominator, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to this. So I'm going to select it, modify it, and then as soon as it actually takes away the money, I'm going to double tap my PlayStation button and disconnect my internet. Okay, so you guys should know how to do that, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's obviously going to take you back to story mode. You want to go ahead and join your friend back in the same lobby. Now the cool thing with this is your friend is still glitched. So he will still be in your arena. So if you join your friend back, he's still there. Look at that. Perfect. So you don't have to worry about glitching him out again. He stays there glitched out. So pretty cool. So now if you look at the Dominator, obviously the paint didn't carry over. It put some random sport wheels on there. And boom, there's the Yankton plate. All right, so we got the Yankton plate. We've got the green tint is now on our magic spot. Now we are ready to go ahead and modify this and transfer it back. So if we're going to go ahead and transfer it to a um, like a Benny's car, like an Elegy or something like that, that is the best way because then you can obviously go ahead and put your Benny's wheels back on. So you can do it with another Arena Wars vehicle, um, or you can do it with like an Elegy Retro Custom or any of those vehicles, Issy Classic, whatever, it doesn't matter, and then you're good. So if we put these wheels back to stock, you'll see they are the red that were on the Sentinel. Okay, so the only thing that copied over from that flip was the tint and the Yankton, which is what we wanted. We still have the yellow paint and the red wheels from the Sentinel. Okay, so now our friend can go ahead and put the car over here once again. So it is a little bit of back and forth, but, um, you know, it's a little bit easier than having to worry about the gift cards to friends or other methods to put the Yankton plates on it. You can just do this all in your arena, and then once you've got one nice donor car, you can go ahead and make other cars from it. So this particular one is going to have the yellow paint, the red wheels, and the secret gold interior. So it actually turns out pretty good. The only downside with the Sentinel is it does have just a regular classic black as the secondary. But, you know, if you merge it to a vehicle that has a primary only, um, like this, uh, what is it, sorry, not a Sentinel. Um, what's a car I'm thinking of? Uh, FMJ or some of the newer cars, GTO Schlag, and you can pick, um, you know, primary only and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to merge it with this other Future Shock Dominator. This way, I can go ahead and put whatever Benny's wheels I want on it. Um, so again, you could do it with an LED Retro Custom if you want or whichever. I kind of went back and forth in here. I put it on this car first, and then I actually ended up putting on an LED Retro Custom after. Um, so it's a little bit of back and forth. I was kind of playing around with it, but obviously you get the idea. We now have um, this car will get glitched out. We'll put it on the other side. We can get back into the Dominator, and then we can transfer, or I should say, the Magic Spot, and then we can transfer that paint uh, and everything else over onto this one. And then all we need to do is transfer the wheels. Now. There's two ways you can do this, obviously, so depending on what vehicle. So that's why I'm kind of showing you both methods here. So if I do it with a Future Shock vehicle that's over here, you'll notice here in a second, once we actually get it glitched out, okay? 
So again, I'm not explaining, obviously, thoroughly how to do the actual arena glitch. Now, this will obviously work as long as we have an arena glitch. So I'm going to leave this video up just as more of a tutorial or referral to go back to. So if you are wanting to do this again, okay? So obviously, as long as we have an arena merge glitch, you'll be able to use these in conjunction and get the same effects. So if we see here now, we got the paint. So let's say you have a car that has a nice modded paint job, but it doesn't have pure whites or it doesn't have the wheel color you want. You can still do this same method, and then as you notice, it actually changed them back to secret gold wheels. So Future Shock has the secret gold. So if you're wanting to do that, you could do that. So if you have a vehicle that has scratched wheels or no yank and plate, but it has a nice modded paint job on it, whether it came from PS3 or something like that, or it is a street vehicle that you found, um, for example, any of the rusted vehicles that spawn in on the map, like the Voodoo, um, the Rat Loader, and things like that, they actually have modded paint jobs, but they don't have modded wheel colors. So this is a way you could get your Yankton plates, your green tint, and then also get your secret gold wheels, so you have a fully modified vehicle. So I'm actually going to do it on the Elegy Retro now instead, because I want to keep those red wheels. Okay, So that was just done just to show you that you can still get um, secret gold wheels if it didn't have a modded wheel color. But since the Sentinel does have the modded wheel color, we're going to pull the Elegy Retro Custom in now. Instead, this way we'll retain the red modded wheel color. Okay. So once again, now I need to glitch this car out. So I'm going to be <laughs> using my controller from my one TV kind of back and forth. So I'm going to wait for my guy to come back over here so we can glitch this car out. Uh, hope you guys can hear me okay as well. I'm talking a little bit quiet. It's late where I'm at and I don't want to wake up the neighbors. So hopefully you guys can, uh, the sound is coming through okay for you. Okay. So once we have this, we're going to go ahead and just drive it up to the opposite side. Again, opposite side of the vehicle that we're going to be merging it with. Okay. That's very important because they do have to be far away enough from each other or else they will despawn. So, just like before, we'll get into the Dominator now, hit right D-pad, back out, and then we'll run back over to the Elegy, and we'll get all the modifications from that magic spot onto the Elegy. So that Dominator will stay our magic spot, so once you're done with it, you can go ahead and buy back over it with whatever you use. So if you're using the Fagio or whatever is your magic spot, doesn't matter. You can go ahead and just replace over that, or just leave it as is and let it revert back to stock. Your choice. All right. So I know this uh, video took a little bit of time, but once you get the hang of it, obviously you'll be able to get through it pretty quick. But there you go. All right, so now we have, you can see here as we drive in, we've got the secret gold interior. There it is. We've got the nice modded yellow paint job and the modded red wheels that came from that Sentinel off the street. So now from here, once we have this you know, perfect donor car, we can merge it with whatever we want. So if we want to put it back onto a Sentinel uh, or any other vehicle, we can do so. Just make sure we make a change on it so that it actually physically saves, and then we're good to go. All right, guys, well, I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. And until the next one, this is your boy SCG, and I'm out.